Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGS. Yeah, praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Look, check this out, man. So, you know I like to be outside and stuff like that whenever I can, but, you know, it's a little early in the morning and uh, my neighbors, you know, the, those tornadoes that hit a little while ago, uh, about a month ago now, you know, uh, they're out there repairing their roof, you know, so God bless them and stuff like that. So, it's a little loud outside. That's so why we ain't here. But yeah, man, I want to talk about... Um, the, the potential fight between Javante Tank Davis uh, and, and Vasily Lomachenko. Hold on, let me close these blinds real quick. You know what I'm talking about? Little bright things, little bright things. But look, check this out, though, man. So so a lot of people are, are excited for the fight. I'm one of them. You know, some people are like, ah, it's overdue. It's long overdue. Tank should have fought him a long time ago. Oh, we wanted to see Javante versus Lomachenko, and um, it never happened. You know, Tank never wanted to fight him. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. I don't understand this, bro. Like, I don't understand why when it comes to Tank and Lomachenko or anybody in Lomachenko, it's always the, the opponent's fault. It's never Lomachenko's fault. I'm going to be honest. I don't think Lomachenko is scared of anybody, but I definitely don't think Tank is scared of anybody. I definitely don't think Shakur is scared of anybody. I don't. So the reason why I bring up these fighters is because a lot of people say, oh, well, well, Lomachenko's been calling out Tank for so long, for years ago, back, back when, when Tank was a little puppy. He's a little puppy. He's a little puppy. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? So I want to hear that. But let's let's be real though. For all, all, all that aside, let's let's think about it, man. You know, Bob Aram is with top rank. Lomachenko's with top rank, right? Lomachenko, I'm not saying that Al Heyman doesn't 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 protect his fighters you know, in PBC. I'm not saying Oscar De La Hoya isn't guilty of protecting his fighters with with, with Golden Boy promotions. I'm not saying Eddie Hurd isn't guilty of protecting his fighters with Matt Troop, you know what I'm saying? But Bob Aram, he does it. Notoriously, what? habitually, what? and the most frequently. That's a oh, fact, God. man. Bob Arum, let me tell you this right now, man. Bob Arum was supposed to let Lomachenko fight Gervonta a little bit ago, right? And people say, oh, well, that didn't happen because, oh, you know, Al Heyman and PBC or Letter L&B and, 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 you know, Bob Arum and Top Rank working across the street, right? That's what they say, right? So that was the excuse of why that, that deal could be made, right? Yeah. Okay, what happens? What, what happened when Shakur, who's with top rank, calls out Lomachenko? That fight didn't happen, right? Here's proof right here. Check it out yourself. So Shakur called out Lomachenko. That fight didn't happen. They're both with top rank. So why did that happen? You know why it didn't happen? Because Bob Arum is ensuring that Shakur is going to stay with top rank long term. And if, and if, and if Lomachenko uh, loses to Shakur Stevenson, then that's going to significantly drop the stock of his biggest fighters. Be, and one of them being Lomachenko. So that's why that fight didn't happen, even though Shakur is on top rank as well. So if you want to blame, if you want to blame Javante and, across, and, and working across the street, why did Shakur, why, why did Shakur and Lomachenko fight? Was that also PBC's fault? <laughs> even though they're not involved? Talk to me. So, and the only reason why Teofimo and Lomachenko happened a while ago, if you remember, uh, not only was that an upset by Teofimo, no one expected Teofimo to win. Number two, guess who Teofimo's with? Top ranks. He's with top ranks. So that's why it was like a, it was like a win-win. You know, even even if the slim chance that Teofimo did win, which he did cause the upset, it, it, it was still it was still good with top rank because Teofimo is still with top rank right now. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the that's number two. And then, um so number one is, is Bob Aaron's fault. Number two is Bob Aaron's fault. And number three, I'm gonna give you another example as to why it's Bob Aaron's fault. <laughs> let's look at let's look at MJ Akhmadaliev. MJ Akhmadaliev, we was just ordered. To uh to contend with Naya anyway for his belts. Oh, oh. No, yeah, you ready? Let's go, champ. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. And guess who shut it down? Bob Arum. Now, I'm not saying, just like Lomachenko, I'm not saying now you're anyway scared of anybody. I, it, it, you, you don't have to be scared to be protected. I'm saying they're protected. Bob Arum does not want him to fight MJ Akhmadali because MJ Akhmadali is a threat. I personally be, believe that now you're anyway would beat. Akhmadalia. But it's a damn good fight. You know what I'm saying? But get, but guess who guess who guess the reason why Bob Arum said he doesn't want uh Naya anyway to fight Akhmadalia? He said Akhmadalia is unknown. <laughs> What? And guess who he's fighting <laughs> instead of Akhmadaliev? TJ Doheny. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Yes, you guessed it. Somebody who's unknown. <laughs> all right, all right. I got to slow down and be honest, man. 
TJ Doheny is not not exactly unknown. You know what I'm saying? I, I am familiar with him. And plus, he's a former, I believe, IBF junior featherweight title holder. So he's not completely unknown. And he's I think he has like a three fight win streak right now in Japan. So, you know, people are familiar with him. But the point and the fact still remains that he is nowhere near the the caliber of fighter at this point of his career that Akhmadaliyev is or that we anticipate Akhmadaliyev to be so the Akhmadaliyev fight for Nye Inouye is much better than 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 Nye Inouye versus TJ Doheny we now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress TJ Doheny has four losses one of his losses came to Sam Goodman another person that Nye Inouye was supposed to fight who I, who I firmly believe that he'll be fighting later on you know what I'm saying Sam Goodman step, did step in the ring with Nye Inouye after Nye Inouye beat Lewis Neary you know what I'm saying but the but the fact is, TJ Doheny is 37 years old with four losses. Damn. I'm sorry. And he's saying that the reason why Nia Inouye is not going to fight MJ Akhmadali is because MJ Akhmadali is unknown. Come on, man, y'all, y'all got y'all, 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 y'all got y'all head of the sand right now. You're purposefully, purposefully being lied to, and you're purposefully being led astray. Once again, I'm not saying that other promoters don't protect their fighters. I'm just saying that Bob Arum does it a little bit, a lot a bit more than others, and y'all need to stop blaming these other fighters for for not getting the fight with with Bob Arum's top fighters. Because usually it's, it's Bob Aram. They're into the Bob Aram protection program, but then they want to blame Tank. They want to blame uh, 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 Shakur. They want to blame Akhmadali. If no, bro, it's not their fault, bro. It's Bob Aram's fault. That doesn't mean that Lomachenko's scared. That doesn't mean that now you're in a way scared. It means that the, they're under the uh, 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 they're involuntarily under the <laughs> Bob Aram protection program. And also another point I wanted to make as well is that with Bob Aram. And top rank, you know, there's a reason why the the the, the tank and Lomachenko fight may happen now. Why? Because the consensus about around the boxing realm and the boxing world is that Lomachenko is on a decline. So if you're gonna get the most money out of him, the most bang for your buck, now is the time that you let him fight Gervonta Tank Davis. So people are saying, oh, Gervonta wants 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 Lomachenko six years later while he looks like he's declining and 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 and, and his his tools are going down and he's dwindling. And no, it's not Tank, bro. Stop it, man. Bob Arum is allowing this fight to happen now because Lomachenko is on the decline and you might as well get the most bang out of your buck for him. Yep. That's why it's happening now. It's not because suddenly Tank has, has, has grown some big cojones that he didn't have before and now he wants to fight Lomachenko because Lomachenko, he's taking advantage of the of, of the older, declining Lomachenko. Stop it, man. Stop making this up, man. Pay attention to what's going on in the boxing landscape and tell the truth, man. We're going to tell the truth right here. Once again, I will say it again. I know people are still going to hop in the comments with, with, they, with, with, with their mouths open and they need He's bleeding because they suck it off Lomachenko. Woo! But they're not going to hear me say this. But once again, I'm not blaming Lomachenko. I'm not blaming Naya anyway. I don't think they're scared of anybody. I, there's very few fighters that I think are scared of any other fighter. I'm blaming Bob Arum, who is a culprit habitually, historically. I would even say coincidentally. It's not coincidentally, actually. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He, 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 it happens all the time, man. It's Bob Arrow, man, protecting his cash cow, his cash asset, and that's what he does. So stop blaming other fighters. So I appreciate y'all welcome as always. I love y'all for real. Don't forget to hit that like button. And remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.